you know? And we're back. <laughs> like, if, if, if the yeah. argument is like the player, then Amsa is obviously the best player in the world. Well, I mean, no, I don't think Yoshi is as bad as people think. Okay, then Axe, I think people Axe sleep is with by far the best player in the world. Okay, well then let's I think Axe could have some of the most skill in the world, for sure. Yes. Have you, have you physically watched Axe, like, Axe play IRL? Yeah, I've seen him play. The, the first time I watched him play, I literally did not watch the match. I literally just watched his hands. I've never seen anyone move so fast. Yeah, he's got some pretty fast fingers. Yeah. By that logic, though, you're just going down the tier list. Obviously, Curve is the best player in the world. No, that's not, dude. That's, that's a... Uh, that's a very reductionist argument. It is. It very much is. Which is why I don't think... Uh, Curb doesn't have comparable results to Axe or H-Box. No. So... I mean, if you put yourself at a huge disadvantage and you're still able to... On the whole... Like, he's tied in sets against Armada this year. He's 3-3. Three and three. And even if the matchup's only 60-40, which I think is, like, at best 60-40 for Puff, um... Then he's going even in such a losing matchup at such a disadvantage. That seems to give credit to the premise that maybe HBox is at least as skilled, if not perhaps slightly more skilled than Armada, given that he can play at his level consistently and trade sets despite being at a disadvantage. I don't know. Okay, if, if we're going by that, then it must be Mewtwo King. Mewtwo King, Mewtwo King can do this in like three games. What are you talking about? Mewtwo King's, like, very good in Smash 4, still incredible in Brawl, and in Melee. He's the best Smash player in the world. Yeah, but well, he might be the best overall Smash player in the world, but I don't, like, his his skill in other games has no bearing on his skill in Melee, so I feel like that, that argument doesn't, like, really... I don't know. I, I feel like really you're basing this way too much on the, the matchup, which is... I'm, I'm basing it on skill, and I'm trying to get an understanding of how we can measure people's skill, and... If we have an understanding of the matchups that people are playing in and who's advantage and who's disadvantage, it's clear that HBox is at least at some kind of disadvantage. Uh, I mean, like, you're arguing things that, like, obviously are very set in stone, but in the great... Wow. Oh, incredible. But in the you great know. things are opinion-based. Yeah. Versus... Best of all time is, like, obviously opinion-based. Well, like, you're basing it mostly based on matchup, which, like, you can't say hard facts, this is this. That's correct, but I'm also basing it off of their set count this year, which is even. Yeah, but you're pairing something that's relative to something that's, like, numerical. I'm, I'm like, taking a holistic approach and, like, I'm, I'm like, kind of looking at all the information and basing it off of, like, the entire picture. What was their set count like last year? I don't know. You know! I don't know! How do you know? Nobody knows! Risner's you bitch! Wow. It would be Risner! We should it probably update this. Yeah. And congratulations to Team Nick moving on here yeah. in loser's bracket. Also, I I hate Papa's tag right now. You're not a fan of decaf? Decaf is the worst thing to exist. Well, decaf is also decaf a, a, like a person from Dayton. Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, I didn't know that. I was referring cool to the coffee. I wanted to make sure we were on the same page in yeah. that regard before, like, you, like, really offended the entire community of Dayton, Ohio. No, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I was mainly referring oh, to decaf coffee. Luckily, there's no Dayton players here right now. I just know that... I heard that they're pretty scrappy, so... And now we're playing Goblins. Dell. Let's fucking go. Uh, what's, what's this bartender's name? What's what? Dustin. 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 That's the dude who's playing. Dell the this. funky homo sapien, yeah, dude. I only know if you must because I play Tony Hawk uh, Underground. Dude, money match me in Tony Hawk Underground. All right. In PlayStation Two. Ooh. I play it on the GameCube. If you I like, give me like a day to like. Man's I, I, I will still play on the GameCube. Man. Really? I mean, we will still go close. I mean, I mean, this is like that moment where two people meet who are the best Smash players in their friend group, and there's no way of knowing who's better until they actually play. So. I'm down. Hit me up, bro. All right. I don't think I have those games anymore, so if, you I better have a GameCube. We can fix that. <laughs> but I mean, Why isn't he up B? Oh like, my god. I'm sure you can find Did he just edge cancel yes. that up B? Holy fuck. Yes, you can. You can find it very easily. Nate, why would you know anything Papa. about Kirby? No, Papa was also just like, yes, the yes, Um, You can definitely find it. Um, this is on the Tony Hawk. I don't know. Tony Hawk Underground is 
best. Definitely the best Tony Hawk game. Like, not even close. Ooh. I mean, it's definitely in my top three. It's rough, though. There's a lot. Oh, my. What What Tony Hawk game is better than Tony Hawk Underground? I loved three. I feel Three's very good. My dance was um, very good. Playing after two. Oh, that was kind of nice. Yeah. Um, I thought, like, American uh, Wasteland was okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, a lot of interesting concepts, like, the, the, the free roam aspect was, like, really good, but then they wasted the shit out of it after that. Um, because then they had, like, I believe Project 8 was after that, which was god awful. I don't think I played Project 8, Oh, but don't. Just don't. You um, can, you can manual with Square. Or, um, I would assume it's B in GameCube. With Square. Actually, no, they wouldn't have it in GameCube, because it was, uh, for next gen, except, what the fuck? Holy shit, Puff's so broken. Yeah. This is like the most serious match I've ever seen in my life. Didn't you just get done saying Puff was bad? Against Kirby? It's all relative, Nate. So I don't think anyone is, is bad against Kirby.